I was when you asked me five seconds ago. You scared the hell out of me. I am. Thank you for being there. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, I just read the workup from the emergency room doctor, and your vitals are fine now. Yeah, but he, he's not fine. We were, we were watching TV, and he, and he passed out. That's funny. But, like, Kayla, speak. Right, I'm sorry. Well, I am sure that your passing out has something to do with the tumor. I'm just not exactly sure how. So I have ordered a brain scan and an EEG and a few other tests, if that's all right with you. Well, you're not going to get an argument from me, so do whatever, whatever test you need to do. Okay, I will. And can you stay here with him? Just for the rest of my life. Nicole, I, I told you what happened. I was convinced by several people, including Brady, that Holly was better off with Chloe. But Brady changed his mind when he found out the drug cartel wanted to kill Chloe. And you could have cared less. That's not how I felt. No, I don't care about your feelings or you. I just want you to get the hell out of my life. No, I can't. Oh, great. So now you're stalking me with everything else I have to deal with? Listen, I know the anger is what's bringing out the worst of Don't, don't you psychoanalyze me. Just get the hell away from me. I can't. I can't stop thinking about you, seeing you here, alone with no one oh, to talk I'm to. I'm used to being alone. I've gotten good at it. Just let me help you. So you can expiate your sins, Father Eric, huh? Oh, Just forget it. I am so sick of you. You know, I hate you. What about we, us? We talked about spending the rest of our lives together. No. Nicole, just leave. Just let go. No, you listen to me. Take your hands just off of me. Just listen to me. Let me help Why? you. So you can manhandle me. No, that's not what. Oh. Let go of me. Oh. Yeah, I want to help. What's going on in there? since I found out that he was sick. You know that he was one of Ben Weston's victims, just like my little girl. Instead of Ben squeezing the life out of him, a miracle brought him back. He survived. And it meant a lot to have somebody, somebody survive that monster. I'm sure it did. But now he's got a... He's got a brain tumor, Jack, and it's just not fair. No. It's not fair. But there are breakthroughs all the time, all the time. And I'm sure there may be one for Will. How many miracles does one person get? It breaks my heart to even think about it. Sorry, Willie boy. I'm not ready to hand this over to Eve Devereaux or anyone else. You are on your own. Hey, are the, the test results back? Uh, yeah, I, um, I put a rush on the CT scan and I was just, uh, going over that with the radiologist. I'm guessing it's, it's not good news? Your tumor is continuing to grow, Will. And uh, I'm afraid that's pushing on other areas of your brain. So sorry. But it's benign. But if it continues to grow at this rate... It'll kill me. Right? Well, if we don't find a way to shrink it... Or at least to stop it from getting bigger. How long do I have? There's really no way of knowing, Well, 
But you, you got you, you must have some idea. Kayla. Just tell me. Okay? And just just be honest with me. I wanna know. I need to know. It could be a matter of days. Answer me, I'm gonna have to break this door down. Come on. Leave me alone! Have you lost your mind? What the hell have you done? 